always one of my favorite oh, shit. That's cool. I thought they were really good. It was supposed to come out last year. It's like, so oh, yeah. by law, <laughs> but yeah, on their website, every single got, citizen in the United up, States has to have their federal ID on it. It'll be so nice. By law. When did that happen? Oh, it happened a while back. Nobody seemed to notice. It did happen. So if you do not have your driver's license and an officer of the law has reason to ask you for your driver's license and you cannot present it, they can arrest you. You can be arrested, not detained, I'm not, arrested. I'm not sure that's true. It, it is. That's true and now? that's why Oregon had to get on the bandwagon and change their driver's license to a federally mandated, okayed license. Now, if we have to have that loss to privacy, etc., without a clear-cut vote or any input from the citizenry, why can't we get a national <laughs> transit yeah. card? Yeah. Oh, that would be a good idea. I want a national, national transit card. I like that idea. So That's a good idea. Metro. Oh, any transit Wow. That's, 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 that's a good idea. That's a good one. If we're going to be a big, you know, 666, number of the beast, we have all the stuff imprinted in us practically. Give us some benefit for losing that privacy. We should start actually taxing people to pay for that kind of thing. Yeah, like, good idea. Because I would use the transit card up and down the West Coast. Yeah, dude. I could use it right now. Whatever you want. Yeah, no, I give you a hot room. You're great point. I know you're asking for lots. Well, and, you know, things that make sense. That doesn't work. Well, and technically, I don't really want to be. I don't want to have to carry around an ID. Yeah. Yeah. I am me. Yeah. I don't want to. You're you. You I don't have to have a tax paying citizen of this country. Well, you technically don't have to have it. But if an officer says that they think you have committed some type of crime, and they ask you if you don't have an ID, you have now committed a crime. Yeah, I think he's right about that. Verification of identity. I don't know that that's true. I'm going to look into that because if that were true, I think it would be a bigger deal to be hearing about it. Well, a lot of stuff. Doesn't get in the media. That's yeah. true. You, that that's would not get into the media. With, with, with I don't know the media. The media. <laughs> the mainstream media, man. They don't cover. The Federal Reserve got voted into existence by less than 25 percent of the politicians were in office. Everybody that's else right. was out. That's not right. Even in Washington. We yeah. If you actually think there's democracy in this country, you're just a fool. Well, technically, it's never been. No, never technically, there's never been, but right now, there's really... Yeah, we have democracy. It's not a republic. Although it is no. not anymore. Right. We have well, yes, so if you don't think so, just go someplace that doesn't. We have so. Because it doesn't what? What do you think? <laughs> What's the point? It doesn't have democracy. <laughs> We don't have democracy uh, either. Regular. We have materialism, well, but we don't have democracy. From the technical definition, we don't really want democracy either. Yeah. Because, yeah. because if everybody has input, we would have everybody <laughs> wanting everything and every entitlement. Yeah. We would yeah. have the That's true. Yeah. It's, it's not democracy, man. It's, 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 it's We're all chained into the monetary system. We're chained into it. We have too much democracy in Washington. We have this guy that Tim Wyman is $30 car tax. What? Okay. That's what? Our car tab, the I'm annual thinking. license used to be based on the value of the car. You, you own a $200,000 car, you pay, you know, yeah, $200 right. a year. Uh, now, if you own a 1992 Honda or a Hummer, you pay $30. Uh, that was started out by a referendum by a guy named Tim and I. It's all these anti-tax things. And it's completely gutted our state's transportation budget. The thing about that particular one is that it had a very big And the legislature went on a populist wave when my parents got into it. Yeah, that's kind of how this whole shit happened. So they didn't actually vote for like a vote, they just managed to get the hair. This is one of these situations where I find it ironic, right? The great aggressive Northwest is actually not as aggressive in taxation of vehicles as like Mississippi and Louisiana. Or even East Coast. Most of those states, which are considered the most backwards in the country, have a progressive. Sure. License plate tax. Right? Yeah. Like if you have a fifty thousand dollar car, you pay like three grand a year to license your freaking car. It's a property tax or a luxury tax. Yeah, it is. And if you have a five thousand dollar car, you pay like a hundred bucks or fifty bucks or whatever. Yeah. We have much better titty bars here. We, no, we're the king. No, we don't. Portland. <laughs> Portland's, got the Portland's, got the Portland's got the best. <laughs> we're number one in titty bars. Don't get it. Where are the titty bars in Seattle? We, we have